Are smart appliances like this LG refrigerator worth the security risk to your home network? Well, don't buy any smart refrigerator or smart appliance until you watch this video. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. In 2016, we saw the world's first IoT botnet attack. And this DDoS attack caused widespread damage and even shut down Twitter, Reddit, and Netflix for hours. In 2017, hackers stole a casino's high roller database by hacking a fish tank thermometer. Wow. In 2019, hackers were able to gain access to ring security cameras, and this allowed them to have access to the video, microphone, and speaker. Oh boy. In 2020, we saw the very first hacking of a baby monitor, and this allowed the hacker to communicate over the device. Very creepy. And lastly, in 2024, we saw the Roku data breach, which impacted over a half a million accounts. So what do all these hacks have in common? All of these hacks occurred using smart appliances and IoT devices. And this means that your home network could be at risk of a hack. So let's see what we can do to mitigate those risks. But first, let's take a look at some examples of smart appliances and IoT devices. So what exactly are smart appliances? Well, for example, a refrigerator, an oven, coffee maker, lights, cameras, a robot vacuum, even your thermostat. And all these smart devices are considered to be IoT devices, Internet of Things. And they all share three basic features. They all have Wi-Fi, they all connect to the 2.4 gigahertz band, and they all have an app to control the device. As far as the features go, it all depends on the device. For instance, a robot vacuum can be controlled with an app on your phone to start vacuuming. With a smart thermostat, you control the temperature when you're away from home. So let's take a look at the benefits of a smart refrigerator and then the security risks of that appliance being hacked. And guys and gals, don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free. This LG refrigerator has a multitude of smart features, including temperature control of the refrigerator and freezer. You can also make extra ice. You can also monitor the air filtration and the water filtration, and this app will send push notifications when they're ready to be changed. Pretty cool. You can also adjust the brightness level of the lights. And because our model has the InstaView, where you knock twice on the window to turn the light on, you can adjust that setting as well. You can also monitor the power and water consumption and much, much more. But even though these smart features are very useful, they still come with some security risks. So what are the security risks of smart appliances or IoT devices? The biggest security risk is hacking, which means your personal information, data, and network could be vulnerable to an attack. And IoT devices like this smart refrigerator could act as a gateway for cyber attacks. This could result in hackers gaining access to your entire home network. When a hacker has access to all the devices on the same Wi-Fi network as your smart fridge, they can spread viruses and malware to each of them. For example, cyber criminals have used smart fridges as a gateway to access a security camera and spy on people in their homes. Wow. These refrigerators are part of the 100,000 devices that were compromised in late 2013. When it comes to hacking IoT devices, here are some of the common techniques. The first technique is the easiest, exploiting default credentials. To avoid this hack, do not use the default passwords. Change them immediately. The second technique is brute force attacks. To prevent a brute force attack, make sure your password is very long, 14 to 16 characters. The longer, the better. The third technique is man in the middle. This involves packet sniffing or IP spoofing. To prevent this hack, use strong router encryption and consider using a VPN. The fourth technique is malware attacks. To prevent malware attacks, make sure all of your devices are updated to the latest firmware. And when possible, use antivirus software. The fifth technique is exploiting vulnerable software or firmware. And once again, to prevent this, make sure your software and firmware is up to date. However, you are relying on the manufacturer to update the software or firmware and patch any security risks. The sixth technique is insecure ecosystem interfaces. Attackers can gain access through insecure APIs to control devices or steal data. To prevent this attack, ensure all your APIs are secure, use proper authentication and authorization, and vet third-party software components. 
The seventh technique is lack of network segmentation. To prevent this attack, make sure all of your IoT devices are on a separate network. So why do all these companies sell these smart appliances when they know they have all these security risks? Well, the honest answer is, it's all about the money. And here are the facts. In 2023, smart kitchen appliance revenue hit nearly $20 billion. Wow. And in 2024, that number increased by 18%. Amazing. But how are these sales increasing every year? Well, here's how it works. And yes, it's all about the marketing. So how do you get people to buy a new appliance when their old appliance works just fine? Well, you tell them that they need a smart appliance. And then you tell them they're gonna save money and the planet. Because these smart appliances are eco-friendly. Maybe, not really. But the bottom line is, to get you out of your old appliance that still works, they have to trick you to get the new one. All they have to do is to convince you that you need smart features and then market eco-friendly and then call it a day. And I have to say, it's pretty ingenious. So how can we protect our network against these smart appliance security risks? First things first, you need a strong password. The longer the better, and change it every 90 days. Second, make sure all of your smart appliances are using an IoT network. Almost all routers now have a separate IoT network, so use it. And third, update all the firmware of all your IoT devices. As a matter of fact, when you buy a brand new IoT device, like a thermostat or refrigerator, you need to update the firmware right away. And that's because these devices are sitting in warehouses for months with no updates. And the fourth and last thing you could do, which is foolproof, is to disconnect it from the internet completely. But just realize you will have no smart features. So what's the bottom line when it comes to buying smart appliances and other IoT devices? Well, for the most part, if you follow my security steps, making sure your password is very long and changing it every 60 to 90 days, and making sure you have a separate IoT network, and then lastly, make sure to update all your IoT devices firmware. If you do these three important steps, you should be okay. But that being said, I'm not really sure anybody needs smart kitchen appliances. I mean, who needs a smart coffee maker or smart oven? Really? Although a smart refrigerator like mine does have its benefits. But to be honest, I could probably do without those benefits. Although I do love the InstaView knock-knock window, it's pretty cool. However, I do use some smart devices on a daily basis, like my thermostats, lights, and cameras. And don't forget the cool robot vacuum. So now you know about smart appliances and the security risks that they bring. And make sure to watch these two videos right here and keep your network safe. And I'll see you later. High five. Peace.